I didn't plan to make a video today, but I found something very interesting. Since I'm a big fan of NASA, I like to watch many of their videos. Today I was watching this old footage from the Challenger mission. Maybe other people found this already, I'm not sure, but I am sure that I never saw this before. So when you look at this footage, sometimes it kind of makes you think, was it all real, is it all real? Cause many parts of it kind of look real like the part where you see all the people watching the rocket like this part it's kind of hard to fake it and it kind of looks very real so the rocket probably was real but then well just let's keep watching it will show up in a minute this video was uploaded by the international astronautical federation and like a good reporter or a good journalist, I check my sources and <laughs> this is what Wikipedia told me. It's an international space advocacy organization based in Paris and founded in 1951 as a non-governmental organization. But it's full of governmental people. But that doesn't matter. It's uploaded by them, uh, I will link the video in the description so you can all watch it and maybe you can put some comments on the original video, but please be polite. Making sure everything is running properly. The, the next scene you'll see from the cockpit is when the uh, solid rocket boosters uh, departed and that was really a bright, bright flash. And this is all showing the rocket from the earth going to space. This is the, the real part because it's probably, it is real. But now the rocket is getting into space. So now the fakery comes in. This is like, this is the time when you watch the recent rocket launches. This is when they switch to animations. But back in the time there was no software to make animations. So they had to do something else to make to convince you that the rocket is in space. These days they just use cartoons, it's, it's kinda insane that people believe cartoons. Do you wonder how they used to do it 30 or 40 years ago? <laughs> uh, do you remember Thunderbirds? That basically shows it. It's just a bunch of tiny models in a dark room with some special effects. But at least Thunderbirds did a decent job, because in Thunderbirds you never saw a guy in the background showing up. So this video is an astronaut explaining the mission, it's not like practice footage or anything. Watch closely. Basically our arrangement, our uh, Dan sat in the pilot seat during this operation, uh, sort of monitoring the uh, motion of the vehicle, making sure that it was steady and that the uh, but with the, you know, there were very few uh, vibrations of any sort. This is a picture of the INSAT uh, actually being deployed from the uh, spacecraft. You can see that the, the deploy went very smoothly at the moment of deployment. Did you see it in the background? There was a guy in the background, man. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. You can't deny that that's someone in the background. There is a guy moving in the background. Watch closely. Our uh, Dan sat in the pilot seat during this operation, uh, sort of monitoring the uh, motion of the vehicle, making sure that it was steady and that the, uh, with the you know, there were very few uh, vibrations of any sort. This is a picture of the INSAT uh, actually being deployed from the uh, spacecraft. You can see that the, the deploy went very smoothly at the moment of deployment. Did you see it? In the background, there was a guy in the background, man. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. You can't deny that that's someone in the background. There's a guy moving in the background. 